it's all about uh, the actual leadership in your life my gorgeous Sagittarius like never ever ever before now it's time to literally put your foot down now it's time to be the leader of your life now it's time to be in charge my gorgeous Sagittarini because you are going to need to make a really important decision and this really important decision that you are going to make it's going to lead towards your own independence it's going to lead towards a success and a really positive and optimistic energy at this time of your life but at the same time it is indeed going to lead towards your own independence at the same time my gorgeous Sagittarini you know this like basically now it's also the time to stand up for yourself and to be clear exactly about what you know what what you want and what you need in life this is such an important time for you to understand because you are going to find yourself at the such a stage of your life on a little crossroads and when we find ourselves on a little crossroads at the beginning of this week then we are not as grounded as we normally are we are not as centered as we normally are I'm not saying that we lose ourselves but I'm just saying that we are not as powerful when it comes to like being really strong and when it comes to being really firm especially when it comes to the certain things in our lives that we feel emotionally about indeed so at the beginning of this week you have to understand it's all about you being a leader and that means that throughout this week you extremely you know do things in your own way completely 100 percent is not enough i mean 110 percent you need to do things completely in your own way whatsoever if you want to find out about something from the beginning of this week throughout this week don't go and talk to uh, mary don't go and talk to jane don't go and talk to mark don't go and talk to matthew don't go and talk to lorraine nobody Maybe no if you want to find out something it's actually not only about this week but it's in general you my gorgeous Sagittarini go out there and you do your own research if you want to find out about something in life in general you are the one who needs to do this don't ever give your power away again if you want to find out about something specific you know then you are the one who needs to go and find out the research a research a research a research as much as you possibly can and then come up with things that make sense to you and then you come up with your own conclusion this week this is very 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 important for you to understand and do but in general in your life in general this is exactly what you should do if you want to know about something if you want to find out about something you must at all costs rely on your own uh, research uh, rather than somebody else's research you come up with your own research once you tap into it you know you go deeper you go deeper you go deeper you go further and you see things that make sense and things that don't make sense and you just gather your own evidence and based your own, on your own evidence that you found that you researched you come up with your own conclusion and this is how you should live your life like always but especially now especially when it comes to this week so when I say that you must not give your power away ever again it's about some kind of entity on the outside you don't even know who this person is and 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 sometimes you know why would you do something that someone else tells you to do and and that person doesn't even know you and what they tell you to do for example completely doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense to you whatsoever but you still kind of do it so why would you do this no baby no regardless what this is no baby no if it's something doesn't make sense to you then don't do it okay and that's what i mean by giving your power away because you're ignoring your intuition therefore you're ignoring your spirit therefore you're ignoring 
ignoring your soul. Therefore, you're ignoring fundamental parts in your spiritual journey that you must not ignore ever again. Don't worry, you will know exactly what I mean with this, but it's important for you to remember that this is something that you have to like kind of keep on reminding yourself throughout this week, let alone throughout your life. Indeed. So basically at the beginning of this week, my gorgeous Sagittarini, you know, just remember to be in charge you know and it's important for you to kind of stand up for yourself and to be clear about you know your wants and needs my gorgeous Sagittarini indeed and that in itself it's really kind of going to start bringing so much happiness into your life and it's at the same time it's gonna like you are also going to become aware of a really important reunion as somebody who means to you so much like oh my god somebody who is really going to surprise you somebody who you haven't seen in absolute ages and when you become aware of this reunion you're gonna feel something that you've always kind of felt with this particular person and you will realize that this particular person you haven't seen in absolute ages but what you're gonna realize at the same time when you become aware of this that this person is meant to be in part a part of your life forever this person is a part of your sacred journey which means that that particular person is a fundamental part of your spiritual journey through who you are actually going to learn so much it's somebody in your life like a friend who you haven't seen in absolute ages but as soon as you become aware of this reunion you know this is going to feel so kind of strong and passionate when it comes to your life that you're going to realize an absolutely mind-blowing connection with that person and once you reconnect and with that person once that reunion happens uh, that person is uh, going to uh, really play such an important role in your life because through that person you're gonna understand you know like how to deal with a part of your life that really kind of is making you feel trapped for way too long and it's also going to kind of you go through that person you're going to understand you know the need to release and let go of something you're going to understand what exactly do you need to sacrifice but normally you wouldn't have a courage to do this and what you need to sacrifice it's going to become a very much so a willing sacrifice a good sacrifice because you're going to become a of the specific part of your life without you even realizing this before you're going to become aware of the specific part of your life that was causing you to actually have a lack of direction and it was causing you to have a lack of perspective and you are also at the same time going to learn and like absolutely invaluable 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 a lesson here and 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 this is absolutely mind-blowing my gorgeous Sagittarini indeed and also somebody else is going to play an important role here somebody else this is not about the person that I've just spoke about now somebody who you're going to become aware of like who is about to return into your life when, when it comes to that reunion this is really going to surprise you like this is going to be a big mama moment this is going to mean to you so much indeed but at the same time you are also at the beginning of this week you are going to become aware of like a someone who normally inspires you as somebody really spiritual somebody who you look up to and somebody who you really like and that particular person you you know it's like you're going to understand a very unique viewpoint through that particular person and that very unique viewpoint that you are going to understand from that person do you understand what i mean so through someone very spiritual very open-minded maybe somebody who you look up to maybe somebody who you watch maybe somebody who you listen to maybe that person is somebody in your life who's extremely spiritual but it's coming from someone very spiritual very open-minded somebody who is aware of so many different dimensions that we live in somebody who's ridiculously wise and clever in so many different ways through that particular person you are going to understand a rather unique a viewpoint you know rather unique a viewpoint that are, are going to help you to see something that was postponed in your life in a completely different light and it's on top of that going to really kind of make you to have a new idea to make you uh, you're going to realize some kind of a new idea that you wouldn't normally realize you're going to really realize that you're able to kind of take something on that you didn't think that you would a be able to take this on and this in itself it's really literally going to show your resilience 
my gorgeous Sagittarini at the same time. It's not about that other person. It's not about what you're gonna like kind of uh, do, but it's more about what is actually going to come out of it. Two things. You're gonna find out how powerful, how strong and how resilient you are. And at the same time, you are gonna be able to come to an end, baby, with an ongoing battle in your life, with an ongoing battle in your life. And this is when and where the process of healing is actually going to start. And it's immediately going to reflect on you connecting to the earth, you know, uh, and, and, and reminding yourself that, you know, the abundance, you know, that abundance is unlimited. Do you see what I mean? This is a really going to help you to connect to the earth, my gorgeous Sagittarini. And you're going to be reminded that the abundance is literally unlimited. This is so important because you are going to finally start, you're going to start being able to kind of move on with your life, you know, with things that have been kind of holding you down for absolutely way too long. By the time you get to the meat part of this week, my gorgeous Sagittarini, is just about a major change, uh, major, sorry, major choice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. At, at, at around the midweek, you are, from the beginning, let's just go backwards. From the, at, at, when it comes to the midweek, my gorgeous, <laughs> when it comes to the midweek, my gorgeous Sagittarini, you are going to be facing an absolutely major, major, major choice, you know. And at the same time, when you have, the, when you are kind of facing this major choice, you know, um, you know, what you need to understand is that your personal values, you know, system is is going to lead you to love you know so this is what you need to understand as soon as you become aware of this major choice your personal values system is going to lead you to love okay and that means that you are at the same time gonna need to find out a specific kind of before all that happens you are something is gonna be revealed to you maybe I should have started like a reading for the midweek like that sorry some kind of revelation you're going to have something is going to be revealed to you. You're going to find out some kind of a truth here that is going to open your eyes, but it's also pam, 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 going to provide you with that major choice that I've mentioned before. And this is all about your personal values system that is going to lead you to love. But at the same time, you need to kind of pay attention to things that, you know, pay attention to structure in your life, pay attention to routine in your life. You need to be very clever. You need to be very smart and you need to be very intelligent so now it's all about you being logical and becoming extremely powerful at the same time what you need to understand is my gorgeous Sagittarini that this is something that it's like it's not only like, you know, why do you need to have a structure, routine? Why do you need to be smart, clever? Why? I will tell you why my gorgeous Sagittarini. Because on one hand, you've got all the resources you actually need, inner and outer. Just remember, now at this stage of your life, you've got all the resources that you possibly need. Regardless, regardless, regardless what's going on in your life regardless what's going on on the outside regardless all the negativity and all the nonsense you do things when you decide to do them you start things when you start to, you know when you decide to do them okay you try things you want to try you explore things you want to explore just remember this my gorgeous Sagittarini now more than ever you've got all the resources that you possibly need inner and outer and that in itself it's all about you becoming extremely creative now why because you are about to kind of like a really uh, um, on one hand you're going to become really creative because it's all about you kind of directing your will now and and this is to do with you having a rather creative visualiza visualization and this creative visualization that you're going to have it's at the same time going to start the process of you manifesting your desire now this is all what actually boils down to you are going to be able to manifest your desires but for the love of God just remember that you've got all the resources that you possibly need because I know that you're going to be standing in 
front of a rather important door. You're about to unlock some kind of portal which is going to be more mind-blowing than any other stage that you have ever possibly been in your entire life. And it's always the bigger the stage is, the more challenge we feel. The bigger the stage, the, the more powerful stage is, the more like, oh God, I'm not too sure. So this is the time to trust your spirit, trust your journey. You need to take a leap of faith now. You need to make a bold move, my gorgeous Sagittarini. Only you can do this. Just remember that you've got all the resources that you need, inner and outer, in order to do something that you wanted to do for absolute, absolute, absolute ages. This is indeed going to lead towards a major, major, major victory in your life. Okay, unbelievably brilliant, my gorgeous Sagittarini, indeed. By the time you get to the last part of this week, you know, you are really going to be kind of curious about some kind of news that you are expecting. So you're going to become kind of curious about certain news that you're expecting. You are expecting, you're going to be expecting some kind of a news that it's actually going to be delayed. And now this means to you so much. And at the same time, please, please, please be patient. You need to be patient when it comes to this. Don't do something silly. Don't do something crazy. Don't do something like, oh my God, like something that you may regret type of thing. Do you know what I mean? I mean this is nothing morbid. It's nothing horrible. It's nothing negative or it's nothing nasty. It's only about you wasting your time and maybe uh, starting something else at a time when you're just like kind of something much bigger. It's coming, but it's only like, it's to do with an aspect of your life that you're already working on, that you've been working on, that mean to you so much. But now this is a bit of a challenge that you are still waiting for this news. And now almost as if you've put yourself in this point where, oh, well, you know, like if I don't get this news, I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do, do something else. No, baby, no. You need to understand this is an important aspect of your life to do with an important aspect of your life. But also at the same time, so as soon as you become aware of this delayed news, you know that the patience is needed. OK, you need you need to be patient. And also, on another hand, you know, you know, you, you need to remember to kind of like um, what you're going to realize about yourself, something very specific here. As long as you become aware of the fact that you need to be patient, already you're going to open up something, you know, you're going to start to spiritually open. You're going to become aware of like your extremes. And now it's time to seek peace. You see how interesting this is going to work out to be. You're going to become aware of your your extremes, but now it's time to actually seek peace. So now suddenly you are going to kind of like find yourself within this process of transition where you will just naturally like kind of want to uh, uh, get rid of those things that have come to an end. You know, it's time to get rid of the old in order to make a space for the new, of course. But at the same time, you're entering a rather calm water you're entering a healing progress and process like full on and this in itself is going to show you the progress and this progress that you're going to become aware of in your life suddenly you're going to realize you're going to kind of like a, a, a reflect on so many different aspects what happened to you within the last year for example and you're going to realize the progress that you've made that you didn't give a credit enough credit for yourself to for the love of god give a credit to yourself when the credit is due this is important time when it comes to our progress we have to be of course critical of ourselves when criticality is due but at the same time we have to be uh, like a really we have to acknowledge within ourselves things that we do and how we feel about it, you know, especially when it comes to achieving something big so we can move on, baby. You know, so this is why this is so important indeed. So you're entering a rather calming water here. Uh, uh, you're entering a really beautiful healing stage of your life, but your progress, it's also, you're going to become aware of the certain progress, that the, the credit that you didn't give to yourself for things that you have done over the last year. And that is going to be such an ultimate part of your uh, journey here because at the same time it's going to show you what do you need to move on from in order to move forward because you're not going to be able to move forward with your life unless you move on with certain things that have literally come to an end and that is going to really kind of require from you to also have like a really much so like a final examination here if I can say like that and that in itself it's really kind of going to be an important time for you especially when it comes 
comes to like uh, you a kind of uh, realizing something additional here that you didn't realize before about yourself and about how much you've changed and about you kind of like a really kind of like um exploring uh, something very specific but this is extremely personal to you indeed and this is very very personal to you where you will want to explore uh, some kind of a part of your life some kind of stage of your life that is going to help you to break so many boundaries you know this is so 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 important indeed and also my gorgeous Sagittarius is someone it's going to come out clean to you someone is about to come clean to you okay someone it's about to come clean to you my gorgeous Sagittarini and for some reason when that person come clean to you this is not going to surprise you but it's also going to be the time for you like where you're gonna know that now it's like literally time to actually uh, 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 um, you know to turn over new leaf Okay, so now when someone comes clean to you, my gorgeous Sagittarini, at around the end of the week, this is also going to be the time for you to understand that now it's time to turn over new leaf in your life. Okay, this is like kind of important because at the same time you are gonna break free from something that you know came to an end like literally absolutely ages ago, indeed. So now my my gorgeous Sagittarini, I'm just going to see what is going to be a tarot card of the week. Okay, so what is going to be a tarot card of the week, my gorgeous Sagittarini? What is going to be a tarot card of the week? Okay, ooh la la, page of wands. There you go. So basically you know this is this is what you need to understand that right from the beginning of this week and as i said this week is going to start on the 13th of february and it's going to end on the 19th of february on the 13th and the 14th of february are quite important why 13th and the 14th of february there is a third day sorry 13th and the 14th of february are important when it comes to something you see this page of wands here here so the 13th and the 14th of february are going going to be very important when it comes to you as soon as you wake up in the morning something is going to be on your mind please pay attention to it please pay attention to it my goodness because you can so easily overlook oh yes something was on my mind i don't know what i was thinking about this suddenly as soon as i woke up so suddenly on the 13th and the 14th of february you know what i said to you about the connection with so many different dimensions while we are sleeping while we are sleeping we are having astral projections every single night while we are sleeping we are dreaming every single night but we don't necessarily remember but what we remember is as soon as we open our eyes and then something is in our mind unusual some kind of direction that we need to follow some kind of realization some kind of idea so you are going to have something very specific on your mind on the 13th of february and the 14th of february now two different things two completely different things two completely different realizations to completely different ideas how you want your life to be where you want your life to go what do you want to do and what do you want to achieve something that is missing in your life it's going to be very strongly connected to these ideas you know very much so and then by the time you get to the 17th so it's the 13th it's going to be important 14th is going to be important to pay attention to this like realization in the morning and then on the 17th look at this and then when it comes to the actual 17th of February, the 17th of February, it's going to really like kind of make you aware of the, oh my goodness, on the 17th of February, you see, on the 17th of February, somebody, something remarkable is actually going to happen. So on the 13th of February and the 14th of February, you're going to have these realizations, these directions, and, and something that is really going to inspire you at the same time. But on the 17th of February, you this is going to be the day where you are, are going to, something really amazing is going to happen. Some kind of incredible achievement is going to happen, which is going to give you so much power, so much strength, so much confidence, something 
very annoying and horrible. It's going to come to an end on the specifically 17th of February. This is going to turn your life upside down in the best possible way. But most importantly, you are suddenly going to be reminded of what was on your mind on the 13th and the 14th of February. So by the time you hear this good news on the 17th of February, you're going to be reminded of what was on your mind on, on the 13th and the 14th of February. And then you are uh, really kind of going to know, okay, now it's time to take this on. And something really mind-blowing is going to happen by the end of the day on the 17th of February. You're going to start some kind of process which is literally going to change your mind. And you are, you need to be brave in order to do this, you know, some kind of brave move you're going to make that you wouldn't normally make. But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that's exactly what we need to do. We need to have that leap of faith. We need to take a risk because otherwise we're not going to move, move on with, on our, with our lives, you know. So this is something you need to remember. Okay, my go to Sagittarini, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing, peace and light to every single one of you. Thank you ever so much for watching my videos. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium. Love you. Bye.